Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. We are in Altona, Manitoba. We crossed the Ontario border leading into Manitoba and uh, every corner out of Ontario there was a lake to hit and mountains to climb and then right when we got into Manitoba it was flat. Uh, how we got here was uh, actually someone on YouTube reached out and said hey you should come check out this campsite near our home and uh, maybe you can stay there and we can do some master photography. So that's what the plan was and that's what we did. Uh, we met up with Gary and Kim and ended in this small town called Altona. They've been so hospitable, bringing us corn, tomatoes, uh, other things just all the time. Spending a few nights over and having a fire and just, you know, hanging out. Uh, they've been great people and uh, it's great that Gary also does astrophotography because it gives me something to talk about and uh, I'm sure he's happy to talk about it as well. Gary shoots with a William Optics telescope, a refractor, so definitely different than what I'm used to shooting. Um, but we both spent some time uh, earlier this week shooting M33. He came over and brought his gear and uh, yeah, we spent the night looking at the stars, sharing some beers. Come back home, go back to the office. Anyways, the plan for tonight is to get the telescope out again and point it towards M33. Uh, when we shot it earlier this week, uh, it was a bit hazy, so we didn't get the best of data. So I hope to get some better data tonight. The gear that I'm going to be using is my standard uh, Raza 8 inch telescope with the Skywatcher mount. Uh, I'm going to be doing auto guiding using my cooled camera and all the other bells and whistles. And uh, this is actually our last night before leaving Manitoba and heading into Saskatchewan. We weren't here long, we were only here for a week, but uh, we had a great time while we were here. Went to a museum earlier today and, and did some other things around town. Anyways, the sun's gonna go down soon. I still got some setting up to do, so uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. scenic journey uh, through the park. Uh, I wanted to tell you how my astrophotography is going so far. Um, as of now, I'm capturing um, some pretty good data. I've got about uh, 40 frames out of 100 that I want to get done. And uh, yeah, the data looks great. I'm still shooting uh, kind of close to the horizon and it's going up overnight. So my data should get better and better as it goes up. Um, but yeah, we'll see once we start stacking uh, what that's going to look like. Um, I'm doing 120 second exposures at Unity Gain. Uh, no, actually I'm not. I'm doing uh, 60 second exposures at 120 Unity Gain. And uh, yeah, I plan to get 100 done before the night is through. I don't want to be out too late tonight because uh, we are moving tomorrow. We're going to be in Saskatchewan uh, tomorrow after a five hour drive. So uh, I'm not going to be out too late. I'm only going to be spending about 30 minutes on calibration frames and then packing it in after that. Anyways. I'm gonna finish this uh, scenic adventure and head back to the telescope and see how things are going. The light pollution surrounding the park was pretty bad. There was a park and some baseball diamonds that had their lights on throughout the night, and you can see I tried to create some barrier to block the incoming light. Thankfully at 12 o'clock though, all the surrounding park lights turned off, which was a pleasant surprise. I threw out all my previous subs and shot M33 for another hour and a half before calling it quits. There was still a lot of light pollution that I had to process around, but I ended up with an image that I'm fairly happy with. <laughs> 